Hi everyone, I'm Amanda Howell. I'm the business librarian here at UW-Whitewater, and today I'm going to give you some tips for citing using Chicago Style. Chicago Style has two main formats. The first format uses footnotes, and the second format uses author date references. This video is going to focus on the author date format. In this video, we'll focus on how to cite websites. There will be other videos for citing books and articles, as well as for creating a reference list. There are other sources you may need to cite, in which case you should consult the Chicago Manual of Style, available in Anderson Library at the reference desk. It's important that you give credit to others for the work that they've done so you can avoid plagiarism. Not doing so, intentionally or not, is misrepresenting your own work and may result in serious academic and legal ramifications. This slide outlines how to create a citation for a website. This is probably the most difficult citation to create because the information is hard to find, if it exists at all. It's important to remember that if you cannot find all of the information needed to create a citation, it becomes hard to validate that you are in fact using a reliable source. You'll want to look for the first and last name of the individual who authored the specific page you are looking at, the title of that specific page, the title of the website, the publication date of the page you are looking at, and the URL of that page. It's important to note that the publication date is not the same as a copyright date. If we take a look at this example, we can see that the title of the page is normally near the top. In this case, it is organizational behavior OB. If there is an individual author, you will generally find this information just below the title along with the publication date. In this case, we're not seeing either of those things. Occasionally, no individual author is listed because you have a corporate author, something like a company or the U.S. Census Bureau, but we don't have that in this situation. The title of the website is often found in the upper left corner of the page. I already mentioned that we do not have a publication date and we don't want the copyright date, so I'm just going to move to the URL, which I can find in the address bar of my browser. Now we can create our citation. Since there was no author listed for this page, I just skipped over that portion of the citation. Because I also did not have a publication date, I put an access date, so the date I actually visited this page. When you create your in-text citation, you're not going to use the access date as the date that goes in your reference. You're going to put ND for no date. This page contains some other useful sources you might want to check out if you get stuck as you're creating your citations. Please feel free to contact me if you have any questions about citing sources using Chicago Style.